Hi guys and welcome to this space. This is Funnel Pop TV, if, and don't forget to hit the like button. It helps a lot. Thank you for taking the time to do so. Although one of the final couples of the show might not be the result that many expected it to be, I feel we still need to give massive props to the producers for creating such an intriguing show. I firmly believe that each participant's POV was clearly expressed in detail, and everyone shined in their own way. Even Young Woo, who shifted the dynamics of the show, was edited thoughtfully to mitigate potential backlash. The producers truly did an excellent job. And I hope you can also take this video as just an analysis video for entertainment purposes only. Please watch it till the end to understand me fully. Thank you. The most shocking aspect of this episode for me isn't because Ji Won chose Yong Woo. But that she didn't realize that him treating Choa the way he did means he could treat her the same. In the beginning of episode 16, Jae Hyung spoke with Ji Won after the truth game. Ji Won explained she was confused and that she felt bad because she felt she was the reason why the entire night had a bad mood. I guess hoping for Jae Hyung to comfort her in some way but instead, he told her he was confused about when her feelings started growing for Yong Wu. He wondered if it took only just one date to change her feelings this quickly, but she explained that it wasn't just one date, she said she felt attracted to him but stayed back because of what he had with Choa. But as soon as he was free, she gave him a shot. After this conversation, there was no more confusion for me because this meant that her feelings for Jae Hyung were not deep enough. And I had this suspicion too back then, which was why I mentioned in one of my videos that I never felt their spark until the kitchen scene, when they were showing love to each other and Yan Wu seemed on edge. She seemed to be holding on to Jae Hyung because she had no other choice in the house. Meanwhile, Jae Hyung took the experience seriously and even thought about marriage, so he put his true emotions and heart into it. More so because when they were in Seoul, Ji Won always told Sasung how much she wanted Jae Hyung that she liked him and was curious about him. Sasung believed her and she helped her brother understand Ji Won's feelings too. This was why Jae Hyung opened up his heart completely and felt secure in what they were building. Despite Ji Won reminded him of a bad ex, he was willing to give this a shot. He also fits her usual type, though she didn't want to date that type again, she too was willing to give it a shot. But sadly, her feelings for him were not that deep. This was why she was easily swayed when Yong Wu gave his cryptic message to her in Jae Hyung's presence, letting her know that he made a mistake texting someone else while he was on a date with her. She couldn't sleep that night. I believe that was when her mind was made up. This also explains why she was a bit cold towards Jae Hyung during their bonus date. The final turning point was her secret date with Yong Wu where she confirmed his feelings for her and made her decision. I believe Jae Hyung did all he could without leaving any regrets. It's nice that Ji Won didn't give Jae Hyung false hopes any further after making up her mind. I know many people might be confused about the reasons she gave to Jae Hyung as to why she might not choose him. She said she liked someone who was similar to her, that Jae Hyung is too different from her. Interestingly, she also told Chul Hyun she was rejecting him because they were similar, the same reason she gave for choosing Yong Wu. It seems she used these excuses as a way out. It would have been hard for Jae Hyung to accept that she had feelings for Yong Wu all along, as that would have hurt him deeply. Sadly, Jae Hyung wanted someone who would prioritize him. But he ended up being a second choice. On the final day, Yong Wu was filled with confidence. Somehow, he seemed certain that she would choose him. The previous night, he had spoken to Yoon Jae, who seemed really proud that his sister was wanted by two men. Yan Wu's confidence kept building up from there. He said Ji Won told him things that made him feel encouraged during their secret date. So, his confidence was through the roof by the time he spoke with Jae Hyung by the pool the next morning. He walked out with that toy dolphin in his bag like he had a premonition that he was the chosen one. In the end, Jae Hyung still chose Ji Won, but the spark in her eyes for him was gone. 
I think she had a hard time facing him. We also found out that Ji Won sent Yong Wu her final message. And Yong Wu sent her a message for the first time. Sometimes, I get a weird feeling that some of Yang Wu's moves were staged. Like when he made sure to tell her this was his first message to her which happened to also be his final message on the show, or how he kept staring at that yellow dolphin in his suitcase and giving it to her in the end. I feel what he was going for was a romantic vibe, but it just didn't seem genuine. I'm not trying to be mean but it just felt weird and staged. As for why Ji Won chose him, I think it's because Yong Wu was truly the man of her dreams, a type of man she knows she might not have an opportunity to date again in real life, considering his physical appearance, responsible character, and job. She had her valid reasons for choosing him, which I understand. She chose with her brain and not solely with her heart. But my confusion till now is why Yong Wu chose her. Because even till the end, I saw no chemistry between them. Yong Wu seemed happy that he won the girl when they hugged, but I wish I had felt or seen some sparks. Just something, anything to make me believe his feelings for her were genuine. Although it felt like he wanted to kiss her at some point, I guess I should assume that's a spark and move on. Anyways, there are rumors that they have already broken up since the production didn't show their follow-up video at the end. This might be true because if I were G1 watching the show back, I'd definitely break up with him. But it's also possible they're keeping things under wraps to reduce further backlash from the show. Their group photos at the end shows them always sitting in close proximity to each other, so they may or may not have broken up. Whatever the situation, I hope they are both happy and I'm thankful for their contribution to the show. Choa also chose Yong Wu. I could hardly watch that scene without crying. Watching her hold back tears was painful. The producers making everyone make a final choice felt cruel. Why weren't they given the option to choose no one? The most heartbreaking part was when Choa cried. I also had a strange feeling at the end when Ju Yun spoke with Jae Hyung to confess her feelings. It felt odd, especially since her brother ended up with the girl he wanted. Then Jae Hyung cried. I think a lot of emotions hit him at that moment. First could be him sympathizing with how Jiyun must have felt with his rejection, since he just went through a rejection himself. Second could be because her brother caused his rejection. And third could be him wondering if Yong Wu had an ulterior motive for choosing Ji Won. He might have thought it was some form of revenge, which made him cry. That scene of him crying, although sad, seems to be the climax of the show. Jae Hyung was the protagonist of the entire show. It started with him and it ended with him. He is the true winner in all of this. Because if Ji Won could be swayed on the show like that, then she could be swayed the same way in real life which could cause a more difficult heartbreak. I hope viewers can understand that the show includes a strong element of family, with parents showing their faces on TV. It's therefore important to give constructive criticism without hate. It's been months since the show ended and we could see they were all together for Christmas. It seems they are all a big happy family now, so let's support them. Anyways, enough with my blabbing. What an intriguing show. What do you think about Ji Won's choice? Do you think Yong Wu really liked Ji Won as he claimed? Do you believe they are still together or they broke up? Share your thoughts in the comments and hit subscribe. You can also check out my other videos for more fun times. Bye.